Steph, hey, society has gotten to that point. It's in us. We get so afraid of getting hurt. Okay, when I, I was uh, driving a few months ago, and I saw these three guys, or these four guys maybe, chasing this one guy and grabbing him and throwing him on the ground and just beating the hell out of this guy. And this guy was tr running for his life, like trying desperately to escape. And these four guys were chill. And people were walking by, I think. People were driving by. People were stopped at the light watching. I was stopped at the light watching. And my body was so on edge. I, I had this impulse to get out and stop it. Then the light turned green and I started to drive and I just turned at the guys. Turned out the right side. I was driving here in the right side of my window of my car. And I just screamed, stop. I did, I put it in a video, like I really screamed it again, like, I can access it now. But I won't, because it's a powerful weapon to wield, to command people with your voice. And they stopped for a moment. They were, they were all dazed and looked around and were afraid. They just stopped, and the guy ran into a, a, a store. I never would have done that in the past. Only because I believe that I can make a change, am I willing to actually make the change when the time comes, when the situation arises. I say what I've, I've fantasized about saying now, because I believe that I actually am making a change. Words, particularly words, have power. That that happened is an indicator that not everybody believes that their words can make change. People panic, people start to push and shove and try and move physically, but you can command a situation to be what you want it to be with your words. You can do it. I can do it. We can do it. We can lay it out. We can... You have the power. Your friend... Maybe she was just panicking. We, it's like we got to train ourselves to get to that point where we don't panic. When attention starts to arise, we don't panic. We just stay focused and communicate it. There's really no situation that should be, I was going to say that no situation should arise that, that would be inherently violent. And I thought of warfare, but I'm not at war personally. So maybe I just create my reality by saying that. I mean, warfare, I, you, could, you can manifest your way through war. I think great lieutenants and generals and, are the people that keep everyone around them alive because they believe that everyone around them will stay alive. And so the people around them believe it. And so it happens, or it's much more likely to happen. We have to train ourselves so that if we get into that situation, we can stay calm and make it what we want it to be. Good hearing from you again.